The one and only Xalophony here with Mario to try out the new Noble Knight cards. We've actually been uh, messing around with Noble Knights lately, so it's cool to see that they have some new cards being added. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll make them into something special. You excited, Mario? Yeah, and I'm actually a little terrified because if Konami really is watching these videos because they keep updating every time we say this deck could use an update and then all of a sudden give it like a less than a month and... Uh, yeah, of all the Yugi tubers, they generally stare at my channel, so... <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, if you're if you're watching Colossal Fighter Archetype... <laughs> Watch it happen, too. Like, that would have been so left-wing that I just... Did, okay, you're right. <laughs> So we're actually both running the Noble Knight deck uh, right now. Mm -hmm. It's not a perfect Noble Knight deck, but it's kind of based off the one we've been using. So Mario's going to give me the first turn. Now, yep. once again, I am not as well experienced with this as him, but I'm not horrible with it, I don't think. So let's see what I have. I got a nice little one of this card. Um, hmm, no, that's not going to work out for this situation. Done it. Okay. Well, yeah, maybe it can work a little. So I got a reinforcement of the army. That's always a good card to start off with, I assume. So this guy, mm -hmm. or really I can pull anyone at the moment. Yeah, literally anyone I pull out is going to couple well. So let's just try to go into something and see if it'll work out. So I'm going to get boars. Yeah. And now I'm going to normal summon this guy right here, who will let me summon that boars. You messing hand traps out here? What are you about to use on me? What's about to yeah. happen? Are we about to explode in a pit of fire? Ooh, ghost army. Uh, well, at least I can put... <laughs> Darn it. That's not very helpful now, is it? <laughs> Sorry. Other yeah, than, do yeah. I let him or do I... Be, right, well, uh... Let's see if I can protect him a little bit with the uh, Noble Arms of Destiny. And I guess... Um... You can activate its effect. Yeah, I could, but that just means... Oh, well, yeah, I might as well, actually. It's the reveal mm -hmm. bit. All right, so three cards. I... This one's always good. Okay, it's just the equip card, so... Uh, this one, mm -hmm. sure. Oh, wait, no, I already have that one, so I was going with this one and not that one. That one's lame. And finally... Um, ooh, let's get this uh, new one. All right. Hey, and I got the new yeah. one. Yeah. And the I got Gwenifar. a uh, Gwen to the Grave. Yeah, Gwen of the one he wants to send to the grave. Yep. I uh, might as well use it, because if I'm going to be sticking with this on my field, let's live with it. And then mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to hold on to this for now. Yeah, because I'm not able to attack. It's turn one. We shall chill. I end time. All right. So you stopped me from doing a pretty strong start, it would have been. But at least I have something. Yeah. Oh, you got that first turn reinforced as well. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. You think what? What do you think? I think I'm gonna grab one of the new cards. Yeah, try them out. Let's see, what's this one do? The equip one, Um, I get to pay 500 life points. It can attack directly this turn. Okay, so you can get around with that. And mm -hmm. if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one warrior monster. You equip. Okay, so that's what the same thing with like all of them. Yeah. And then I special summon the Gawain since I control a light monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I also activate Noble Arms of Destiny on my Madrout. Okay. And since I control a uh, Noble no Noble Arms card, I can special summon the new guy. Oh, cool. So that's how he works out. Mm-hmm. All right. Not bad. And if this card is special summon, you can normal summon a noble knight monster during your main. Oh, an additional normal summon. That's pretty useful for this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think they finally fixed that card, by the way. Remember how, for some reason, I couldn't bring out the Arcana Extra Joker in this deck? Even though I had three different monsters? Uh, no. Nope. It seems like I can. <laughs> well, three different warriors with different names, but now it seems like I can. But that's not the focus of this. That, that's not the focus right now. So I'm going to sure. overlay these two to go into the new one. Oh boy. So let's see what this guy's all about. Target a part card your opponent controls, return my hand. Oh man. Yeah, so that's actually going that's actually the best. Yeah, so you if won't I do be able that to target my no Oh wait, you can target it. Okay. So you... Yeah, Noble Arms of Destiny oh, prevents yeah, my destruction. Other one didn't prevent to... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, that's he gets around. I think this is this is what the noble knights needed. Is one has spell destruction, the other has monster destruction. This one returns cards. Yeah, it's got that thing that everyone seems to get around these days. So that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, so we get some attacks off on me. Nothing major aside from that happening yet. Uh, fortunately, there is no uh, there's no link monster here, so we just have to worry about this. Uh, Kostenin, but is that every turn? Okay, it's detaching. Alright, good to see. Okay. So I need to get some more Noble Knight action. Let's see what I can do. That's not gonna do it. Let's see. I guess... Hmm, is this gonna work at all? Um, we might just pull the boars out and equip them with more cards, in all honesty. Just to try to get more monsters? Yeah, I mean, just to have... Yeah, to get more monsters with that, because this... Let's see. I got a Merlin in my hand, um, which could temporarily be good, but... Yeah, I guess it's just as good as the boars play in most circumstances, so it's normal summon this. And then let's activate his effect, tributing him to bring out another Noble Knight. Um, I could try pulling out this guy, but is he going to do me any good right here? Let's see. If he special summon, I can normal summon one additional monster. That'd be... Oh, actually, yeah, that'll hook me up. A pretty similar play. So now, mm -hmm. uh, oh. Did you Why? mess up? It's not letting me normal summon. Because you normal summon Merlin. Yeah, I thought special summoning, this guy gave me another normal summon. If he's special summoned by the effect of his own thing. Oh, by the effect of, it's a specific thing? Yeah, because if you read the top effect, if you normal... Ah. If you can special summon this card from Yan, you can only special summon this okay, card so at once per turn. special summon it by that. Okay. I guess the bottom one uh, doesn't really specify that, but it does make sense. So oh, let's... wait, no. It's, it's an XYZ effect. If he's used for material for an XZ, ah, yeah, Synchro, duh, 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 that makes Link, sense. of a and, Noble yeah, Knight's monster. It literally says that on your guy right now, so makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, that means I'm not going to be sitting too well, so what we're going to do, just to have something sitting alive, or at least force you into... <sighs> nah, that's not good. Will I be able to live next turn? Probably. I'll end turn. So that was just bad. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this guy should only bring out when you're ready to sink, when you're ready to link him off, or mm -hmm. you know, XYZ him off, because he uh, won't get any of that cool stuff, which makes sense. Cool. Yeah. Very nice, Noble Knight monster. That was sink or something gains that effect. Got it. So he's gonna mm -hmm. be dead now. I guess I could have put like one of our on him for no cost or whatever, but yeah. Also, if you would have put him in defense mode, that probably would have been better because I would have been forced to. Uh... Well, uh, yeah, I would have liked to put him in defense mode, but because he has a pretty decent defense points. Yeah, but at, with what I was doing, you know, obviously the entire yeah. thing was a misplay from the get go. So let's see. This guy gets to do that. Um. Okay. I think this will work out. So we're gonna normal. Actually, no, I want more cards in hand. Let's do boars. So we're gonna do boars, and we're gonna give him the. Uh, well, do I want to attack your cards? Um, yeah, they each got an equip that prevents them from getting wrecked, right? So. Hmm. Yeah, so let's try to be a little cheeky out here. We're gonna add the Clarent to my oh, boars. Okay, it is a new one. Yeah. And we're gonna add, let's see, Excalibur. So I can't just be sent back. You can't be targeted again. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're going to then activate a Moon Mirror Shield. Okay. I'll spend 500 life points so I can attack directly. And uh, activate this guy's effect to get me another thing. That I will prevent with this. Okay. Fair. So I guess let's just go. Do I want to go for the direct attack? Because I guess I can't kill. Because what happens when I attack the thing that's equipped with Gwenifar? Oh, uh, if he would be destroyed by card effect, he would be, uh, I, Gwenifar can go to the grave instead. It's only yeah. when it's equipped to a dark monster does Gwenifar get that automatic destruction effect. Gotcha. Okay. But it will protect you. So, might as well just go for, uh, the direct... Actually, no, I don't want you to... Yeah, well... Well, uh, yeah, when I attack with the Moon Mirror Shield, I get that boost, don't I? You do, yeah. It's whenever it's in battle, actually. Mm -hmm. So let's just get that at this guy Did out Did you put here. that in from the side deck, or was that already in there? That was already in the deck. Ooh, why did jump to 26, actually? 
Why did it jump to 26? What happened out there? Is it something to do with this? Um, let's see. I will activate this effect. Oh, cool. What else does it do? When it's destroyed, I can sub I can bring out a, a different Noble Knight Exceeds monster and equip oh. the monster to it. That's cool. Cool to see. Mm -hmm. Man, why did I get the extra attack? Um, pay 500 of this card. Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe because I are also took life point damage by 500. Uh, Maybe, but no it's supposed idea. to be like a... <laughs> yeah, it's a weird way that all function together. Let us know in the comments. Because other people probably realized what happened there. Because 500 seems like a very precise number. Yeah, Let's so I'm going to activate this effect. And destroy your moon mirror shield. Do you want to pay 500 to put it on top or the bottom of your deck? Um... Well, considering I'm about to just straight up lose, <laughs> I'll top deck it. All right. Well, this is GG anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna as I said, I'm, I'm gonna activate about to lose glory. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna activate glory of the noble knights and basically equip the same card to him. Yep. Oh, and you can just go for that direct attack too. Not that you yeah. needed it, but very good. I mean, show off the cards. Like, this is actually this was actually something we were talking about. Was like, it could be situational, but yeah, the fact I feel that like we the can search... I don't know if you would use uh, more than one of those in a Noble Knight deck, mm -hmm. unless you got something Since... that really couples well with it. Yeah, well, Glory of the Noble Knights just let me search out any Gl Noble Knight equip spell. So yeah, so why not? Obviously, you didn't need it regardless, but yeah, it feels just way too situational to mm -hmm. warrant more than one copy. But certain or... times, people have defenses that you kind of can't get over that easily mm -hmm. so or if you just need that little like if they have that little wall but they are on like the cusp of life points because they spent so much and Possibly. this just gives it to you yeah let's see what uh, happens in the next duel mm -hmm. so uh, i'll go second now <laughs> kind of figured that yeah mm. all right i'm going to set a monster and i'm going to end yeah all right draw a card draw a card oh, come on I mean, the bad deck may be a little imbalanced because we took out some random cards for these new ones. A, I feel like it won't crack the balance of it, though, for what we did. Um, but yeah, I am sitting on nothing. That's what I'm saying. Is like It feels like we messed with the balance a bit, but that's something easily Honestly, repairable. we added more monsters, and I'm, I have a handful of spells, so can't really... <laughs> Definitely didn't mess with the balance. Ooh... Noble Knight Brothers. There you go, now you can get your big boy. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going straight into him. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna go for the whole play. Assuming you have other stuff in your hand, if you do, rather. Mm-hmm. All right, um, let's see, I could Ash Blossom that, and that'd be pretty sick. I'm gonna do it. No warrior searching for you. Hmm. Yeah, that would allow me to get any warrior to my hand, but luckily I can still do this. Yep. So, so we'll see. see. You, and you, and you, and you. Get a grave. You. Yep. Let's special summon. Let's see. You cannot normal summon a special summon. Oh, actually, summon. this one's a good shout. Oh, just with that name. And then I'm going to activate... Glory of the Noble Knights, equipping it to my Pelinor. All right. <laughs> Excalibur. Okay, no, I couldn't, because uh, you need a fa I need to be facing a face of monster your opponent controls. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Yeah. So that's for the face up stuff, but you will be able to attack directly, so why not? Because mm -hmm, I have a feeling you have probably have a similar card, the uh, Noble Knights what? Brothers. No. It's impossible so, that I would copy the move without knowing that you did it. <laughs> oops, I forgot to pay the life points, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I can't yeah, pay them right now. That. So well, I might you're, as well you're completely right. So, But try to activate the effect now. I can't. Main phase two? Yeah, I can oh. only... I have to activate it before my battle phase. Oh, okay. Where does it say that? Oh, because it cannot attack for the rest of the turn when you use that effect. Gotcha. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so now I got another monster. So let's try some stuff out. Uh, I'm hoping we don't get completely wrecked here. We're going to normal summon this guy, get him on the field, and then we're going to decide someone to go into here. So I suppose, what is the option? What's the you, new guy do again? Sacred Knights, uh, sent, when he's summoned, uh, you can send materials yeah. from him to grave and return that many, that equal, the equal amount of cards from on the field back into the hand. Okay, yeah, I'll send a material to get rid of that two tails. That sounds fun. Let's try him out. Uh, there we go. So he's out here. Don't Unfortunately, really... I did have a counter. Oh. No, I'm not even activating the effect. Come on. It's fine. I can switch my for some of the other guys. Yeah, you can get a different one. Yeah. Luckily, he does have that return effect. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, do all these guys do that? I forget. No, just him. He's a new one that does that. Okay, cool. Um, normally, though, Merlin or this sword right here would be allows you to switch between them, though. Yeah. So I got our Torgus here, but obviously less material. Let's see. Target one of the monsters in the field and destroy it. I don't know if I need to do that necessarily, but I definitely should get this uh, soul day out of here. Um, I, pr I think I should probably use the effect just because you're sitting on one card in your hand. So let's do that. And, uh, oh, so that's what happened. So, you use the uh, the uh, new one to custom, custom in, mm. the monster, because automatically he activates his effect that allows you to normal summon an additional time that turn. That's what uh, activated. Well, he yeah. gives that monster that effect. And that's what activated, yeah. It's just I mm -hmm. wasn't going to use it. I didn't. So, that actually, the new card bit me that time. Um, so, yeah, mm -hmm. we got this here. So, why not? Let's just equip everything because we can always just get it back. Not even looking at all the effects specifically. I just know they all do a little, little something good. Oh, okay. That actually helps you. Mm-hmm. Excalibur. Yep. So let's go for that. I'll clear that out. Leaving you with a two-card hand. So. Yeah. And obviously this is a little hard to get over with most of the stuff you have. Yeah. Um, you probably have another turn, though. All right, I just got another Noble Arms. So let's just attack again. Nice and quick. Yeah. I was planning on doing the, uh, if I was somehow going to have him survive a turn, I was going to have, uh, mm -hmm. the Pelinor activate his effect, which was oh, destroy yeah. one of the, uh, equip spells and destroy, uh, Arcturus. Yep. But I have no choice. Place that down. Oh, there you go. Come on. Give me the new card. Give me the new card. Nope. But I got a Gwenifar. Why not? Um, or I could normal summon it. There's probably no good reason to do that. All right. So, or I might hold on to it. No, that's a. I don't want to. I don't want to give up that last slot. We're just gonna hold. Um, oh wait, what's this happen when I activate it? The equipped monster loses exactly 500 attack. Oh, I can destroy one uh, set card, and uh, I can destroy you. Yeah. Hmm. Is that worth it on this face down card though? I'm gonna lose attack points regardless, so getting some more damage, I guess it's negligible at this point, so let's attack. Yeah, cause, because of your, uh... Because I'm losing 200 a, a turn no matter what. Ah, yeah, oh, summoning Gwenifar would have been huge! <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have guessed it. Couldn't have guessed it. Oh, you yeah. actually have two drill knocks in there, okay. I think we have different there... versions of your deck. Probably. Or you probably messed with it at one point. Maybe. All right, so I'm gonna summon my Gawain. Yep, see what you got for him. Glory. I have not drawn a glory in a long time. Ooh, actually. Okay. Yeah, and you can match that. And I didn't put the Gwenifar on it. That, of course, but. Yeah, you don't have any materials, and. and still, I'm gonna be sinking points a little faster than you are, so. Mm hmm. Um, oh baby, hello. That's the card I was looking for. Oh no. It's not enough. I had two turns and I got you, but I need to get two of these attacks off because my attack's been siphoning. So we will go for a direct attack with it. So now it's actually kind of working well because I guess when it, you know, think about that you can't be destroyed and that your opponent just kind of has to watch as you whittle them down, 
that kind of works out. I guess it's a defensive direct attack over anything. Because your opponent could have, like, some power on the field. And you can just be like, nope. I really wish he didn't have Excalibur. Because I can't target your monster with anything. Yeah, can't target anything. me with the send back guy. So. Not only him. Too. Like, I have others. Oh, wait. Yeah. I think I... Maybe there is something I can do. Okay, so. Going to do this and this. Hopefully this works. Um... It's not gonna kill me, but unless you well, big... that's the thing. I do have something, so I'm gonna activate his effect. Okay. Sending materials to the grave. <laughs> oh boy. Do that. Yeah, and then that prevents it. I love your life points. Yeah. I don't know why that's in a. Oh, wait, I don't have two materials to boost them to 20 to 5,000. Because what I was planning on doing, I was planning on burning your one Noble Arms of Destiny and then oh, attack okay. over him. Yeah, because that's once a turn, right? Yeah. Nice. It was a desperate play, but. Yeah. Almost worked. If I had another material to give him. Yeah. But with that, I don't even think there is a material I could give him. Yeah, I don't know if you can, like, because you got to burn the materials to get that far, so. Did I have to? I it just told me to keep selecting. I don't know. Um, regardless. Oh, you can it. You can attach, detach three materials. Okay. Mm. So it has to be three. Okay. So if he was like four hundred, of a hundred points less. Ugh. Yeah, I guess if <laughs> one more turn had been there. Ooh, just got yeah. mage power as well. All right. Um, but he can play it. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, run into my monster silo. I dare you. Nope. <laughs> no need. We'll attack directly. Okay, so this duel, the new card, actually was the reason for the win, at least. Uh, yeah, the reason long for you the get early to... win. Mm -hmm. So, so my, like I said, okay. a lot of people, a lot of people, especially in your Discord, as we were talking about earlier, <laughs> were dissing these new cards, but they seem to be pretty good, actually. Possibly. I mean, I definitely go had second. doubts on the uh, direct attack, how useful that would be. But I guess considering, like, th this how many deck does spells? play rather defensive. So, mm -hmm. when you're playing defensive, I guess it kind of works out. So, I got to go fully stand. So, let's see. Do yep. I have additional summons? I do not. Hmm. So, what I'm going to go for is set a card. We're going to play it slow. And I could have totally done something. Oh, well. I'll end turn there. All right. Hmm. Oh, jeez, I could have actually done that as well. Jeez, I'm bad. I'm bad at this game. It's all right. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm not very experienced with Noble Knights, and it was, honestly, that hard, so. Ooh, you got a Noble Knights Brothers playoff. Nice. Yeah, full one. Yeah. Uh, so okay. Kristenin's not going to get his effect off, because that's how he was special summoned. Um, but you still have three monsters out there, so you can do some big stuff. Mm-hmm. And one of them is you use... Yeah. The brothers and you're about to see the the, the link monster come out. Yep. Oh geez, you can probably do link that? and one of the big guys in the same turn too. Possibly, yeah. Uh, assuming you grab one that you can special summon here. Well, that's the thing. You forget uh her first effect. Even though I add the warrior, oh I yeah, true. You can't special summon that one. Yeah, I do always forget that one. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is for potential future play, I'm going to grab the Pelinor. Okay. Activate her effect. Nice. To special summon a different one. Oh, there you go. Um, Whose level equals the number of cards sent to graveyard. Yeah, and sending great cards to graveyard ain't always the worst. In nope. fact, in this case, it was really good. Look at all them equipped cards. <laughs> Gosh. Yep. Oh, boy. I need to get something. And I'm going to add the uh, Boris. To be fair, you could have probably gotten around whatever I put on the field anyway. Yeah. And Boris gets equipped. So you can get another card. Oh, you have a serious hand. The plays just keep coming. Yeah, no good thing for you to get there. Oh, and Gwenifar went to the grave. I guess you want your opponent to grab the Gwenifar to their hand. <laughs> Whenever that's the options. Alright. 
This ain't looking good now. No one knows what I can the turn, go in. But... Oh, yeah. You can't. Unfortunately, I can't go into it any uh, he's link level monster. five now, or yeah. But that's but that's fine with me. Yeah, you still got some stuff. Hey, there you go. Dark monster. Does he now count as a dark monster? Very nice. So he's a bit of a beast at the moment. Oh, and you can attack directly with... Well, if you want to burn it. Sure, why not? So attack with her directly? Might Just to well. make sure I get some damage off? Yeah. And if that's the brothers right down there as a defensive play, this should automatically destroy them. It's not yep. the brothers, but it's a Kustenin, and it should also destroy him. So... Yeah, and I'll have my own Kustenin attack. Yeah. Alright, so let's see what I can do here. Hmm. I like I like these plays where I get get to show off a lot of power of the Noble Knights. Yeah. Get to actually switch it to the dark type there. Nice, nice. Um, so what can I do? Um Alright, I got some glory in my hand, so that's good. I have one normal monster, but I also have the reinforcement. So what do I want to grab here? Pelinor. Let's see. Equip to this card in one, destroy them, and then draw a card. I'd love to draw a card so badly, Pelinor. But this card cannot attack for the rest of this turn, and that is not a good thing. Because I cannot target or destroy your Noble Knight's boars. Yeah, so he's just safe. Let's say, let's call it like it is. He's safe. <laughs> um, hmm. I got this. So we can do a little bit of something, something. Um, or I could try to get a special summon card. So I can get one of the big guys out. Uh, I kind of want to just try to do that because that sounds like the right play because I feel like I got to make something big happen here. So let's mm -hmm. go for that. And I guess since I just have another Noble Knight in my hand, I guess I can do a Brothers. And we'll get two out. Hopefully. And derp derp derp. Welcome. Okay. So you're about to welcome someone to Jurassic Park right now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let's see. So, yeah, I don't want to use an equip on this guy. Uh, although I could have done that as well. I keep forgetting, like, because these guys all have long effects. I'm not thinking all the way through on the plays. I didn't even have to necessarily do that. But it's fine. Um, so if I go a soul day, I probably yeah, I won't have anything to do here. Um, so I will just go into one of the other guys. Uh, do we want to try Kustenin again? Because I can't target your thing there. Nope. So, that might not be the right answer. If I do this, I don't have any equip spells in the graveyard, so we don't want to go with our Torgus. So, I guess what we're going to do is just go ahead and get Kustenin. The uh, Kustenin guy out here. Welcome. There we go. So, let's go ahead and use Glory. Get a card for him. Um, hmm, what are the options here? Uh, let's see the second set. Target a set card my opponent controls. Nope, not happening. I guess I kind of just want to grab Noble Arms of Destiny. But I also got to get something else on him. Oh, I can't do two uh, glories in a turn. Darn it. So no, just... it's one, one per turn. Yep, so I know who I'm attacking here. So let's go ahead and if I activate this... Let's see. And then I can target one Noble Monster I control. Equip them. No, no, that's not that. Yeah, just activate and gain 500. Sure. That's what it is. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't doing anything I'd regret at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's every, go ahead. I, I, everyone always forgets about Caliburn's effect. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to. It's just that time I was making sure I didn't have anything. Oh, okay. You didn't destroy a soul day. No, because I also need to just get Kustenin off the field because he can just get rid of me um, or whatever, so. Or is that only when a, um, I don't know. Well, that, boy, he only has an extra summon effect when he's used as a material. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Well, I'm going yeah, to normal. Thinking of wrong oh, yeah, I was thinking of Pelinor. That's the guy I wanted to make sure I didn't let stay on the field. So, yeah. Regardless, that would have happened. Mm -hmm. So. What are you doing? Yep. I'm going to activate her effect, equipping it to uh, Pelinor. Sure. Yeah, Pelinor was the one I was afraid of the whole time. Yeah, activate his effect. But I still get to draw an extra card. Yeah, exactly. And Ooh, and this was actually perfect. Yeah. 
Excaliburn would have been nice, but you're going to be able to override it anyway, so. Mm hmm Stenon. Oh, you have more Noble Knights in your hands? Jeez, what a hand. No, I just drew it. Oh, well, still. Pelin uh, Pelinor's effect. Yeah. Well, even though you've had some really good setup with this hand, so. Mm-hmm. Uh... So yeah, see. you're looking pretty nice. Yeah, so I'm going Even to go and did destroy a soul day, you can just bring another one out. Could have at least, so. Oh. Okay, now extra joker. Okay. Okay. Because he has some defensive effects. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, and since Noble Arms has already popped. Mm hmm Goodbye. But we can use his effect. So who do we want to bring oh, in? Oh yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. That's kind of I think this is the always the, I think this guy's the best of the new cards. Because you can always use it to bring out a new one. So let's see, mm -hmm. um this guy gets three um from the graveyard. I can detach and target monsters to destroy. Now what does your Joker prevent me from doing? You said he was defensive. Uh, if you target him with a spell or trap card or a monster effect, I can discard the uh, same type of card from my hand, negate and destroy it. Oh boy. Okay. Well, and this I can detach something and destroy any number of spell cards you have. Alright, let's just go for uh, the king. And then we'll get those spells from the graveyard. So you... Unfortunately, I only have two, so it's not going to be great. Can hit you by attack points. So, we got some cards. And I guess it says it's waiting on you? Yeah, because it was okay. my, still my turn. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, this is still your turn. Sweet! I get another card. Ooh, hello there. Um, what at you? Nice. I'm probably gonna hold on to that, but I can pop my another glory. Now, what's the Wait, options what are you gonna here? get, though? Yeah. Um, let's see. When a spell card effect, you can just start negating stuff. Let's see. So if I grab my moon mirror shield, you can probably negate that. If I activate my own effect, you might be able to negate that. Um, let's see. But I probably can just attack you, is what I'm thinking, right? Uh, I was wondering why you were saying Moon Mirror, and I forgot Glory of the Noble Knights can target any equip spell. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I'm going to assume I can just attack that thing, and we'll see how that goes. Um, okay. Ooh, but yeah, I also get got to get around those Noble Arms. Yeah. Well, let's do this. Because that's fun. Mage power. Good yeah. shout. Good shout. And uh, let's also get our little 500 before I forget. And let's try to smack him in the face. See how that works out. Actually, I should have done this as well, but whatever. Okay, so that did just straight up work. Awesome. Yeah, it's oh, only yeah, effects. Noble that. Arms was on. A, I didn't realize that was on a soldier. Mm -hmm. Remember when they come back from the grave, they can only equip the Noble Knights, not any warrior yeah, monster. Yeah, true. All right, so or um, I could use my effect to try to get rid of a soldier here, but you can just prevent it from being destroyed anyway. Mm hmm. So I'm just not gonna burn my material yet, and I'll save it for next turn. Um. Because I could have probably destroyed us all day, but I was not extending it to my full potential. So it's my own bad. I should have done, extended further. I did not. So, yeah, yeah, that's the thing is, I'm surprised I didn't get. I wasn't allowed to activate its effect. Um, uh, Joker. Yeah, when this On card what? is destroyed. Oh. When this link summoned card is destroyed by battle and sent to graveyard, special summon one level four normal monster from your deck, and if you do, add mm -hmm. one level. Yeah, and there's a lot of them because a lot of them don't are normal monsters until they're equipped. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't know. Let's see, special summon one warrior normal monster from your deck. Yeah, but isn't that like when they're they count them when they're on the field? Like, because they're all effect monsters when they're just a card, right? No. Uh, that's why uh, that's why I've seen some people run the heart of the underdog in this deck in this really? style of deck back then. Yeah. Interesting. I would wouldn't think that would uh, work when it's in a deck. I don't know. I'm not looking at a lot of the cards right now. So. Well, also it's also meant to be running with the so you can possibly bring out the arcade. Yeah, because they all just like face up wall night. on the field. So. Mhm. Mm mm. Well, this is actually a good shot that I got. Nice, Palinor. Okay. So let's do this combo again. All right. 
sure. So you can go ahead, burn a use of noble arms. Draw a card. That's good for just drawing a card, and it's Gwenifar too, so it just keeps coming. Yeah, unfortunately that was not enough. That didn't get you another card you could use? Ah. Nah. So what I'm going to do is activate this. Get a free little direct attack in. Yeah, because I know event by War of Attrition, I might be able to... No, wait, you have Caliburn. Yeah, I mean, so you're mitigating good that. luck. <laughs> that's, a, that's a long War of Attrition, and I got a tough monster on the field. I don't think that... Mm -hmm. And like it's not that. like you have, a, and it's not like you're getting less. Your attack is going down because of uh, the other one. Yeah. All right. Well, let's if, see. In fact, if you were to draw the uh, your own uh, Clarent, you would actually probably win this straight out. Yeah. Um, realistically, though, I think I can at least win soon because I'm just gonna start putting out monsters now. So, oh, let's see. Is this guy not a light monster? can special summon this card from my hand in defense position. Oh, light normal monster. Okay, so, of course, I'm not a normal monster. Cool. What, so, yeah, what, which is yeah, one of the things I was confused. Yep. So, let's see what I can do. Um, yeah, let's just summon a... Uh, oop, nope, not that guy. Let's just normal summon this guy for the straight attack points. Because, well, conveniently, it's enough. Um, oh, I can special summon a uh, soul day with this. Nope. Um, so now what we're gonna do... I activate my special trap card, which allows me to take control of your <laughs> of your field for a, for one move. Oh boy. I choose to go into your soul day. Imagine that was a card. Imagine that was a card. Attack into a soul day here. Oh my goodness, you live! Now, I suppose, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and attack into this like so. Actually, I think I see a way of winning this. Okay. Oh, you can just straight up equip those to Pelinor. Okay. Remember when they get sent to the grave, I can weak up them to another one? Yeah, I forgot that's based on those cards. Okay, so um, does that Noble Arms activate again this turn? Because it's a new monster equipped. Um, I think it does, actually. I think it would, too. Um, now this is a horrible play, but you know, just for sake of learning, let's see if it does. Yep. Cool. Yeah. As we monster. Assumed. Cool. All right. So there's a few things right. you could probably do here. I think I know what I need to do. So I'm gonna yeah. send my Claire into the grave to destroy your your Octor, I guess. Well, yeah, burn the effect. Now you got a five card hand, man. Mm-hmm. Jeez, that's so perfect, because they all just come back instantly. Normal summon this one, Boris. Eleanor, I think, is one of my other favorite ones. Him and the uh, Link one. Bringing out the Gawain. Nice, nice. Next. Ah, you can send him back to hand with the main guy, for one thing. Yep. Red, red my mind. Yep. Looking Do good. This. Goodbye, entire field. <laughs> And will you be able to finish me off this turn? Possibly. I'm going to be trying this out real quick. All right. Doing this. I like this last Flipping duel. It's had like some twists. Mm-hmm. Got anything else and to then, No, I'm activating Excaliburn's effect from the grave. Sending away my Keston. Ooh. I mean, changing him out. Yeah. That might do it. To bring out our Torgus. And equip him up, because you got tons of cards. In well, you only have two slots. Get that attack damage. Get that attack damage. You just need 300 more points. You for oh, certain. I yeah, there you go. You're good. And that's game. 37. Whew. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't attack with Pelinor. <gasps> oh, yeah. no. This card You're cannot right. attack You're for the right. rest of the turn. I forgot about that part. Oh, gosh. But this is going to be hard for you to come back from. It will I have be. my because I, I got to turn this around. Yeah, and I just, need just to be in able case, to... in case you get the clearance, anyone. Yeah, because I got Clarence in the grave right now. So, yeah, but I still have to break twenty-two. Okay, okay. Ooh, so I got my drought, but um, let's see. I don't have anything to equip to him. 
Um, but my drought's a light, so I'll be able to pop uh, Gawain off him because he's treated as a normal monster. So. Boom. Yeah. And boom. Oh yeah, no, you're right. He's treated as a normal monster on the field, so when yeah. he's in the hand in the deck. Okay, That's so that does explain it. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Um, so now if I go for my Kustenin, I can pop an effect on you. Why not? And uh, thing is, um, so you just activate a Scaliburn on the guy and you can switch him out. Is this essentially what you did? Yeah, Exca activate Excaliburn from the grave. You get to swap him out and tr get the other material previously on it as materials. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and start with the Kustenin because that seems like a smart play. Might as well activate Kustenin. And, uh, I guess, um, yeah, I really don't care about your Pelinor. <laughs> In fact, I don't care about either of them. I just figure I might as well pop this out. Alright. And now, yeah, you get to go ahead and put those stuff on the Pelinor. Mm hmm. Very nice. Now. It's a very strong Pelinor. Oh, can I not activate it from the grave? Oh. Oh, jeez, I don't have one in the grave. I'm dumb. Yeah, you should have just returned Pelinor to the hand as well. Um, Yeah, but it wouldn't have. Oh, wait, no, yeah, you didn't have one either. Because you banished. Yeah, okay, well, good, good game. I <laughs> uh, wouldn't have I'm gonna leave just like I'm that. Gonna but... I'm going to leave that on the field. Yeah, because... Oh. Oh, I can mitigate that, too. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Very nice. And yeah. So if I had brought one of the other guys out, I would have been fine, but I wanted to make a Kristenin play, so. Yeah. Oh, Kristenin well. is a good card, though. From yeah, he is a good seen. card. If you have Excalibur and Engrave. So there's a lot of good plays I can combo with this guy. I love Kristenin. I like uh, Pelinor. Yeah. I kind of like that. Now, I still feel like the attack indirectly is situational. I still feel like that's uh, one copy. One in the deck. Yeah, one in the deck, if anything. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm almost to the point where it's like, do you triple Kustenin? Because that's at least double. Mm -hmm. so that's solid. Because when you even when you know you can swap him out, and you can even plan it, you can, like, attack into something to swap him out, because he just dies, and there's plenty of stuff that you can do to get rid of him. And then Pelinor's oh, yeah. effect is just nice. So, that's always good, because your cards just come back, so pretty much with Pelinor... Which is just a four-star normal summon. You can just freely not only, you know, um, what is it, destroy just, your opponent card, but you also get draw. Hey, yeah, you also get a draw card. So I'm thinking triple Pelinor, man. That is that. That is certain. Pelinor is sick. So hopefully you mm -hmm. guys have enjoyed our little first view of these new Noble Knight cards. Um, I think it went pretty well. We got to try out everything, right? So. Yeah, we got to try out all the new cards, show them off, mm -hmm. and best of all. If you guys have any suggestions for any styles of this deck, like maybe, maybe like a speed version of this deck to try to get like everything sure. on the field, or maybe at the full defensive tank style, like uh, make sure your one monster can't be touched. Because as is we the saw, case with this deck, Jeez. yeah, because if you because if you have a Excalibur, uh, yeah, really just Excalibur and a Noble Arms combo makes it. Pretty and rough. Gwenifar, yeah, and Gwenifar, which all of them can just freely be put back onto the monster. Mm hmm means it's got to you got to do a lot to get rid of that thing and um, then if you just equip some of the power cards like gelatin yeah then attacks won't even do it so and then oh and if you have glarant as the last one as well then you can just ignore any monsters that your opponent may be yeah so it doesn't matter how good your opponent's field is but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and mm -hmm. we'll see you next time